The purpose of a catalytic converter is to use a chamber called a catalyst to change the harmful compounds from an engine's emissions into environmentally safe gases. When the engine releases harmful gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons, these gases travel through the catalyst and are converted into safer gases like steam, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. The catalytic converter is located in the exhaust line on the underside of a vehicle, between the engine and the muffler, and looks like a large metal box. Now that we know what the catalytic converter does, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad catalytic converter. Symptom number one, check engine light comes on. While a check engine light can indicate various problems, a malfunctioning catalytic converter is a frequent trigger. This happens because the engine control unit detects issues related to the catalytic converter and triggers relevant fault codes. Here are some OBD2 codes related to a bad catalytic converter. If you want to know the meaning of each OBD2 code, check our playlist on OBD2 codes. Link in the corner. Symptom number two, poor engine performance. A clogged or damaged catalytic converter can lead to poor engine performance, manifesting as rough idle, hesitation, reduced power, sluggish acceleration. Symptom number three, rotten egg smell. While you're driving, if the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter is either broken or clogged, it won't be able to process the smelly gas called hydrogen sulfide into an odorless gas, resulting in a rotten egg smell. Symptom number four, failed emissions test. A bad catalytic converter can cause your vehicle to fail an emissions test due to increased levels of harmful gases. Symptom number five, rattling noise. A rattling noise coming from your catalytic converter could be a broken down honeycomb. This could be due to high temperatures caused by a rich fuel condition. The car's engine management system collects inputs from various sensors and calculates parameters like the air-fuel ratio. Malfunctioning any of the engine management system components may cause a rich fuel condition. If you want to know all the sensors of the engine management system, you can check our detailed video on car EMS system sensors. Check the link in the corner. Now that we understand the symptoms of a faulty catalytic converter, let's delve into the causes of a faulty catalytic converter. Cause number one, overheated, melted, or broken converters. Any malfunction causing unusually high unburned fuel with high oxygen levels to enter the converter will dramatically elevate its temperature. Potential causes for high unburned fuel are misfire, low compression, air fuel ratio imbalance, poor spark or no spark, faulty oxygen sensor. Cause number two, catalyst poisoning occurs when the converter is exposed to emissions containing substances that coat the working surfaces, enveloping the catalyst to the point it cannot contact and treat the exhaust. Potential causes for coated or fouled substrate may include Excessive carbon buildup in exhaust. Internal coolant leaks through head or intake gasket. Use of non-converter safe gasket sealants. Excessive throttling or burnout. Improper fuels or additives. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.